Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ, Bless, Deacon Abiel here. We are here in Kumasi, Ghana, and I am completely blown away. As you can see behind me, we have the new school. It's in construction. It's being built from the ground up. Everybody's putting a brick in, y'all. It's your turn. Donate, donate, donate. As you can see where your money go, we're not pocketing your money. We're not driving expensive cars. We are doing the work Most High God put in our heart to do, just like in the book of Nehemiah. You guys out there in all the countries watching, you've been the key to this taking place. Without your donations and your help, we wouldn't be where we're at now. You understand? The Lord says, as you know in Ezekiel, build sanctuaries. This is the first of many Lord's world that we're building. Put your brick in. We need your donations. We need your help. As you all see, this right here is fulfillment of prophecy. The scripture says that this gospel of the kingdom is going to be preached unto the whole world as a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. What you see right here is fulfillment of prophecy. Put your brick in, put twiddle your thumbs. Those of you all that's not here, ain't boots on the ground, you have a way to help. Saint John chapter five verse three. The book of First John chapter five verse three. For this is the love of God. The love of God. Listen, that we do. His commandments. Keep God's commandments. That's why we are here. God that we want you to love you. We are giving you the commandment, strangers, and you are at your head. Exodus 20, verse 8. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Exodus 20, verse 8. If you love, you don't deceive. If you love, you don't deceive. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it home. We say, listen. Remember the Sabbath day day to keep it holy. Uh, says, you remember the Sabbath day to keep it the Sabbath day holy? The Sabbath day is today. Right. Mean the Sabbath day is every day. Do you keep the Sabbath day holy? The Sabbath day is today. Right. Mean the Sabbath day is every day. Give me the quotation, give me the quotation. No, 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 no. Give me the quotation, give me the quotation. Give me the quotation, give me the quotation. 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 Give me you don't understand me. Wait, 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 wait. Let me explain it to you. What is holiness? We talk of holiness. And holiness. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't say holiness is not every day. But you said Sabbath is every day. That, that's what he said, right? You said Sabbath is every day. What is the meaning of Sabbath? Sabbath. Let's read. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy works. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. The seventh day is today is the Lord thy God. It is. Oh, wait. Go to text. Sabbath. In it thou shalt not do any work. So on the Sabbath day you don't work. You don't work. On the seventh day you work. When you don't work, that means you are holy. Wait, there are lots. Let's. Let me give you to you. Wait. It is a, a work. We haven't gotten there. Wait. You are eating is a work. So you, our people, the state of your mind, you don't understand. You are eating is a work. So what is that? Wait. In it, thou shall not do any work. On the Sabbath day, don't do any work. Oh, an American doctor, have I used a slave to get you? 
So I'm working for income. This one, I'm working for the more. Say, go. You don't understand. You don't understand. These are people. We are giving you the word of the gospel, the gospel to you. But you don't like it. Your eye is seen. Six days shall thou do all thy, shall thou labor and do all thy work. So if I'm a banker, a citizen have to work as a banker and get income for my family and those what I want to have in the community. You understand it? But on this seventh day, I don't work a secular work. I come out to speak. Put your hand there. Go to Luke chapter what is the middle um, of 14, 23. Yeah. But I don't go. Come, come. On the Sabbath day, there's a law that you don't do on the other days. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. On Sabbath day, there's some laws that you don't do on the, on the other says this. This is what we want you to understand. You understand? Let's read this one and we go there. The book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highway. I'm, I'm a servant of the Most High God. I'm a servant of the Most High God. So on the seventh day, this is what I do. Go out unto the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. So that's why I'm the sweet teaching of people the laws of God. Simple, that's what we do. The reason why our people are not teaching the laws of God, that's why you see, people has been killing people day in day out, stealing day in day out. Christianity will never teach you that. Christianity will never teach you that. Go back to Exodus. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And the month of December, the so called Christianity and the so called white man say to remember what Christmas they call it Bronya. Remember it and keep it. That's what they tell you. For that one, it's not, it's not six days shall thou labor. It's not all let me finish. I will that open the door for you. When you go to lecture hall, the lecture finishes and so if you have questions, ask the you answer your questions for turning to what that we talk. That's what we do, Rhoda. Wait, wait. I'm going to go through some scriptures after that and you ask your question. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. But the seventh day, this Sabbath day, Saturday is the Lord thy God, the most high. In it thou shalt not do any work. So on the Sabbath day we don't work. One of the law for the Sabbath. Wait, 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 wait. On the Sabbath day, one law between the Sabbath day we don't work. You understand? If I'm a carpenter, I need not to work. Wait, let's go to Exodus chapter 35, verse 3. Why don't you? Let me ask you a question. I said, let me finish. There's a thought over here. Let's get it out. The book, of, the book of Exodus, chapter 35, verse 3. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitation upon the Sabbath day. So on the Sabbath day, you don't turn a fire. You don't set fire and cook food to eat. You understand it? One of the Lord, you don't turn a fire. You understand it? Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10. What is there before we go there? I'm asking what is there? No, 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 no. Bro, I'm asking you what is there? Somewhere something that I go there to win. I don't want to what? You don't bring any confusion to our people. They are getting the understanding. That's what I'm asking you. What is there before we go there, bro? This is what we have learned from our leadership, and we're teaching you. So we have set up our camp. That's what I'm asking you. Bring out, summarize something, and then I'll go there to read. The same point. He's talking about law. Okay, let's go there. Rome, Romans 10. Read. The book of Romans. Chapter 10 and verse 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So explain. Explain, explain. Huh? Wait. Huh? Right of your heart is right of it. It's a law. Wait, wait, wait. So you have. What you quoted, you have to explain it. I'm, I'm telling you. 
If you believe something, that's what you do. Go to Serac. Oh, why you don't want me to explain mine? You understand? Let me. I gave you the quotation, so let me explain it. Listen to me when you were talking. So let, let me come here before you. No, no, no. Let's go there. You said something. I believe, and you go back. You go. No, we will go back to Romans 1010. Wait. Let me explain mine. If you are getting to another Sirach. place, that means you don't want to understand mine. The book of Sirach. Chapter 32, the verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord, take it he to the commandment. So if you believe in the most high, you what? You go by his commandment. Do you understand it? Do you understand it? I say yes. Don't say anything. What is the commandment? Commandments are laws. By Romans 10, 10. I don't see any change like that. So it's not a law. No, read Romans. Take it out. Romans 10, 10. Read. 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 Romans 10, 10. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 10, the verse 10. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So, so what is the meaning of righteousness? Faith. What is faith? Faith is righteousness. Faith. Huh? Okay, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy says 25. Uh, no, no, you are asking me, let me explain. No, you, I, I, guess, I want you to keep it. When you talk of faith, mm -hmm. my father was... Uh, faith is, I can tell you, go and bring this stone. Mm -hmm. uh, go and bring this stone. This is faith I'm talking about. Go and bring this stone. I will do something. Uh, this faith is going to be that. Christ came and gave us a law. A law of faith. So faith is law. That is why if you have faith in worshiping anything, it works. It's the one God created us. He says that you should have faith in him. It's a law. Yeah, yeah. It's a law. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. It's a law. Did you know me chapter 6, the verse 25? And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all his commandments before the Lord our God. Read like this. He has. Did you know me 6, 25? It shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all his commandments before the Lord our God. So all the commandments in the Bible, when you keep it, you become righteousness. That's right. When you keep God's commandment, you become righteous. Read that portion again. Says 25. Did you know me says 25? And it shall come back. Uh, sorry. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all his commandments before the Lord our God as he has commanded us. So it shall be our righteousness if we keep it. This is what Christianity do. Christianity will quote one scripture in the Christianity church and start using his opinions. His opinion. They will say, see, we will not have dominion over you. Say, and then you will betray your money to him. White scripture, and then you will betray money unto him. Who? Deuteronomy says 25 again. Deuteronomy chapter 6, the verse 25. It shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all his commandments before the Lord our God. As he brothers, brothers, you should go to the other side and listen to him. Simple. But you should go to the other side and listen to him. Ah, he said we are deceiving people. This is what the brother said. Right. Read. Acts 3, 19. Acts chapter 3, the verse 19. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. You have to repent and be converted. What converters? Wait, wait, wait. No, repent. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. Repent, therefore, and be converted. Converters, what converters? Psalm 19 verse 7. Let's see what converters. Wait. Wait. Tell what to convert you now. You don't know what convert you. Psalm 19 verse 7. Psalm chapter 19 the verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. The laws of the most high God is perfect. Converting the soul. The laws of God can convert your soul. You don't understand it. Christianity has taught you less because one thing. First John chapter 2 verse 3. Read. This is what the reason why you are fumbling. Who? This is the reason why you are fumbling. Read. What is First John chapter 2 verse 3. Read. And I hear but we know that we know him. You know that you know God. You know that you know God. Let's see. If we keep his commandment. If we keep God's commandment. They testify that we know God. Read. Right. He that said I know him and keep not his commandment is a liar. Is old. It's a liar if you say confess that you know God and not keep God's uh, laws. You are what? A liar. That's what the scripture says. Christianity, that's what they have told.
taught you. Right. No, That's they, what Christianity have taught you. Go to Revelation 22, verse 14. Read. Christianity didn't. Did, Revelation chapter 22, the verse 14. Read. Blessed are they that do his commandment. That's do his commandment. Blessed are they that do his commandment. You are family, you are going back to confessing, bro. Look here, what am I looking at? No, me, I'm the one who is supposed to tell Father you are a Christian. Right. I'm the one who testified that you are a Christian. You can't call yourself a Christian. I'm telling you. Yes. Yeah, I'm the one who testified. I'm the one who is supposed to tell Father you that you are a Christian. Why? A good Christian keep God's commandment. That's right. A good Christian. Keep God's commandment. Read. Do you keep God's commandment? Revelation 22, verse 14. Read. Blessed are they that do his commandment. Blessed are they, mommy. Are they that keep God's commandment? Like the way you are dressed. The way you are dressed is very nice. I'm telling you. It's very nice to the Lord. Read. That they may have right to the tree of life. And they may have right to the tree of life. What's the tree of life? Read. And may enter into the gate and may enter in through the gate. Which gate? Bring this one, bring it. Right, hey. The 12 tribes of Israel, this 12 tribes, they have gate, 12 gates. Yeah. Which you are going to enter. If you keep God's commandment, we are going to enter into the gate. First John. That is why when you read Romans chapter 10, listen to this one. Listen to this one. Listen to this one. Listen to this one. First John chapter 3, the verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. He said, Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the transgression of God. This is the definition of sin. So, what law? If there is no law, there is no sin, right? Or if there is no law. Romans chapter 10, verse 3. Read it. Okay, let's read. What is the summary for me? It's talking about two laws. Okay, let's read it. Okay. Read it. Romans chapter 10 verse 3 chapter 10 the verse 3 the for them being ignorant of God righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness yes, have right. not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God for Christ continue continue don't, don't stop this continue please if you stop you are not telling me uh -huh. continue for Christ is the end of the law for righteousness. Oh, so which law Christ is it talking is about? Bro, wait. Is wait, which law is it talking about? So you, do you have a wife? Wait, do you have a wife? Do you have a wife? I have a wife. So if I sleep with a wife, have I committed an adultery? <laughs> is, is that the law? And so what did what law did Christ take away? What law? That's you don't right. know it. What law did Christ law take away? What law? Are you a Mosasua? I'm not a homosexual. So, are you a lesbian? I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> I'm asking. Because if you are a lesbian, you are homosexual, and you are being caught, you will be there with what? They will How kill you, you, right? How can you? They will kill you. They will kill you. They will kill you. They will kill you. And there was a law that needs for you to use animal to make sacrifice. That is the law that Christ has taken away. That's right. You don't know it. Go to Hebrews. Right. Uh, is there? Hebrews chapter 10, the verse 1. You know. For the Lord having a shadow of good things to come. Then the animal is sacrificed. Don't go. Come, come, come. Come, come. come. Don't run away. Come, come. Don't run away. Come, 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 come. You don't know the difference between these two laws that we are talking about. <laughs> and not the very image of the things. Why is it that one person would take Don't go. Listen. Listen to this one. Don't, brother, don't go. Listen to this one. Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 28, the verse 1. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. When the wicked flee, no man pursue it. We continue reading. The righteous are bold as a lion. If you are righteous, stay here. Don't leave. I'm telling you. I'm a righteous. So, let, where's your fringes? Let me ask you one question. Where is your fr fringes? Where is your fringes? <laughs> Where is your fringes? Just answer me. Uh -huh. Where is your fringes? My two nights went to Where is your fringes? Do you keep the Sabbath day holy? No, answer me. You, you, you portray to me back that I should answer yes, when you were, when no, you were right? No, 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 no. Don't. That's what Christianity do. No, 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 when they are teaching the people, they pick up so many opinions. Let the Bible speak for himself, brother. That's Let the Lord, Bible speak. This, this Lord that you said, uh, the sick person touched Christ mm -hmm. and he got killed. Uh -huh. It is fake. Oh, I'm it not talking about the woman. It's I'm showing you that Christ 
she was wearing fringes on his garment. That's, that's what I'm showing you. I'm not talking about the woman. Right. You don't understand the Bible is wearing in contextual meaning. And he said he touched the hem of his garment. That says that Christ was wearing fringes and a ribbon of blue. Right. That means there was power in that minute of life. <laughs> that's what that's up to you. That's up to you, brother. I said, what is your friend? Is? Just answer me. I don't know that in the Bible. That there is no power in it. I believe in that. So, okay. I believe in that. Numbers 15. Brother, mama, listen, mama, listen. Maybe the woman is going to take it. Yes, listen. power is righteousness. Numbers. Chapter 15, the verse 37, 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. The Bible says we blacks, Hispanic, and Native American. We are the biblical. Wait, wait, brother. Brother, wait. So when you go to Christianity, this is what you do. When the pastor is giving you the light, this is what you do. When the pastor, the damn pastor is giving you lies, this is what you do to them. I'm asking you. I'm saying when the pastor wants your tithes, your money, this is what you do to him. When we came here, have I asked of any of you money? You. When we came here, have I have we asked you of any penny from here? But when you go to the Sunday church on Sundays, you go and they preach lies to you and you donate to them. There is lies in Christianity. Number 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garment. But the mommy, this is what the Lord says. You are a child of Israel. So you have to put on fringes. Also, they fringes you wear them. Two atari, I know. What else here? Read. Throughout their generations. I say, I want to watch. But they are one. I say, now. I want to watch. So, Bible will say, simple, but a Christopher, I'm from a Christopher. And I'm a Bible. I'm a Christopher. I'm a Christopher. I'm a Christopher. So went to Atari and it's simple, just do it. Kokoku Isaac, just go and do it. Also to Odabi, ah, now we have two men. Kokoku Isaac, Kura, Baba, Kope, Kuro, and then, say no, and the problem is what? If you don't know, read. And that they put upon the fringe of the bodice a ribbon of blue. So when you put this one, and you have to put out a ribbon of blue. So the Bible whom I had it, it was no. What he has said, read. And it shall be unto you a fringe that ye may look upon it. And remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. It's what we to attire so I never cow my kind of poor man said why they need it. And that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes after which ye used to go a horn. It's it by your own credit. Uncle Bob, my uncle, and you may be a first crow, no one is I don't mind now. But how do we to other nice of course I don't mind now? That means you don't have the faith in Christ. Because if you have faith in Christ, you keep God's commandments. That's how the Bible says. Is it ended? 40, I want 40 as well. Verse 40. That ye may remember and do all my commandments. Say some commandments. All my commandments. Some commandments. All my commandments. So we have to keep God's commandments. All the commandments. Yo, Emra, Eho, Ma, Me, Ma, Yo, Emra, Oh, Ma, Ma, Yo, Emra, Oh, Ma, Omo, Omo, Wari, Yo, Emra, Oh, Ma, Omo, Omo, Wari, Omo, Wari. Yo, Emra, Oh, Omo, Ma, Ubi, Owo, U. Yo, Emra, Ma, Ho, Yenta, Rishim. Yo, Emra, Da, Ho, Se, O, Se, Ibi, Afashe. Ene, Bro, Na, A, Omo, Feni, Christmas, Na, Na, Easter, No. Ene, Ba, Ebo, Ni, Mo. We used to scream Black Power while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day. Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.